welcome to your cancer heart spread. This is for the end of October, call it the second half of October. Work with me. Time is fluid, no? Gilded Tarot, classic, what I'm using. Oldest uh, deck, favorite <laughs> I could say. So, that's reading the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. That's what this does, eight cards. Look at you and your person. First house, seventh house is astrologer, gonna keep that in mind. This is you looking at your anima, looking at your animus that you're projecting. I have a card that was upside down, that would mean something. Um, and kind of see where you're at, and then get some advice for you and your person, and then advice for the relationship as a whole. Eight cards usually gets to the heart of the matter. Do check out the Soul Tribe reading, Soul Family reading, I call it. Soul Tribe, uh, Terrence McKenna, find the others. That's just a collective read for whoever resonates, daily read that I do. Um, if you uh, just give it a shot, see it's meta more metaphysical, spiritual, a little bit less directly oriented towards uh, love and romance, as is this one. And then I do the single spread too, and always on Tuesday, we have Gemini Cancer Day. So Cancers, here's your heart spread. This is you, fantastic. Man, uh, this could beat you. So, Nine of Cups is what? The Happy Bachelor? It's what? Water? It's what? I could call it Pisces. We could also call it Cancer. Um, so, this is a, where you're at, your mind, your heart, in and around relationships in this end of October time frame we're talking about. Um, perfect uh, energy to come into a relationship with. Um, you know, the next cup would be the Ten of Cups, right? Uh, overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. Uh, I think we're dealing at least with you and maybe we're going to see with your other person as well. Uh, three of Pentacles, the good worker card, the master craftsman. So I see here in this reading, I usually see people who've done the work, um, the spiritual work, whatever that means, uh, to uh, grow and uh, make themselves the best person they can be. Um, now let's see what your person's coming in here with. Ooh, the devil. Let's not get too carried away. If it's Capricorn here, and we got this licked. But this is their energy, in and around relationships. I try to detach both of these, the one and two cards, a little bit from the relationship and just kind of get a baseline of where you're at. And here you're in perfect uh, place. I'm not just saying it because it's your reading. Yeah, Nine of Cups is the perfect card here. Um, you're self-fulfilled, you're emotionally self-fulfilled, you're happy, um, and you're emotionally aware, emotionally available. It's You're in kind of your own energy being cancer. So this would be someone you're just being yourself. I mean, you can't really get a lot better than that. Now, here comes um, Mr. and Mrs. Capricorn, maybe. But uh, their energy still is going to carry the energy of the devil with them. Um, obsessions, addictions. In this reading, I read love. So probably this is someone strong Pluto and Scorpio placements more more than anything, you know, um, Capricorn or not. I mean, you, I got Saturn and Capricorn. It's all kind of important to me. <laughs> you would never consider it in a love reading, but, you know. Uh, so this person is in quite a different energy from you. And I could see them here at Cancer being attracted to you. Uh, I don't know, I'm about to say they would come after you, but maybe not. This is Mars and Scorpio energy, and you may, it, this person might give you the look that gets you to buy them a drink, and you've never done that in your life before. And, but it's like that kind of energy here. But um, they're, they're very much drawn to you. I just, <laughs> I always joke, I heard, uh, there's, a, there's a lamb for the wolf here. <laughs> a lamb for the wolf. So, um, be careful, but it's damn sexy energy. Mm -hmm. It's somehow going to put you in a passive position, which uh, I, oh, the only bad thing I could say about this so far is it puts a nine of cups as un otherwise wonderful, and it somehow kind of this passive, I feel predated like position, I'll be honest with you. Now look, this is how you're reacting to them now, Cancers, uh, the way you're feeling about this person. 
It's got you in this Five of Pentacles energy. This sucks. Do not like this. I mean, how could you go from the Nine of Cups and now you feel like you're not enough? You're not good enough. I never was good enough. That's relationship shit. So, I don't know offhand. I don't see how they're doing towards you, but are they laying stuff on you? Like, I hate to go here. I really do. I'm not the big narcissist guy. Narcissist not, not. But I got... That's narcissist stuff. It's just to go from the Nine of Cups to the Five of Pentacles. It's like somebody took you down, uh, Cancer. And, and this could be done swiftly, particularly with this kind of attraction. You had to kind of slay open your chest and uh, then uh, do bad things to your heart. Just, I don't want to scare you, but... Okay, so the way they're reacting towards you, Queen of Wands. This makes sense, too. Um... I don't want to say the Queen of Wands is bad. It's not what I'm saying. But to go from the devil. And now the thing is, the Queen of Wands is how they're reacting to you specifically in the relationship, Cancer. That's what makes it bad. Especially when you're the Five of Pentacles. Now, if you were the King of Sun Wands or whatever, I mean, great. We got ourselves a show. This is a real love affair here. Let's go. Um, but, uh, by the way, this is, looks crazy hot to me. Your person is kind of turning me on. I swear to God, man. Look at this energy here. So I'm saying this this way, okay? Not to make light of it, but cut yourself from slack. This is some seductive stuff. It's like overwhelmingly uh, powerful uh, sexual energy that, um, you know, could take you down. <laughs> I could see this could take you down. But uh, let me clarify this Queen of Wands, yeah, Sun. So maybe we have a Leo energy here coming in. You know, uh, it's all about them. Fifth house, it's the fun sex, fun play, romance phase. Um, play boy, play girl. This is cliche over here now, so it's kind of like disappointing me. I can feel it like, I'm like, oh no, this is, I thought this was going to be really uh, strange. But now they just, they're starting to feel like a, like a real narcissist here. Um, like, not even like a covert one either. I mean, Queen of Wands in the Sun. I mean, I think they're pretty out there. Might be why you're feeling like Five Pentacles. Look at this, Vice from Spirit. You know, what trumps a Queen of Wands? I don't know if you could say it trumps the Sun, but it trumps the Devil, and that's an Emperor. Emperor handled that stuff. That's the best part of yourself to handle it. And it's also with the emperor here, it's saying block, block, block. The emperor puts up a wall, puts up a wall. So yeah, this is eighth house stuff that gets into you. I'm a stronger note. I've done so many as psychics, energy workers, eighth house, not the 12th. That's where the action is. It's where it's like the part of the cell where the Fluids go in and out there. It's like permeable right there in the eighth house. Energy comes in and goes out, you know, but they get on you and it's like they're, it's not so much like they're taking your energy. It's like they're just uh, sucking it out of you, you know. You're, you're supposed to adore them and exalt them and they're exalting themselves above you. So it's not love, you know, it's egotistical, it's narcissistic, flat out, and you're being told, stop, put a stop to that. The emperor puts a cold, hard, this is like a restraining order. You know, this is like, I don't even believe in guns. I just went and bought one and took a training course and got licensed and got a restraining order. I gotta say, it's the first week I've had like this in a while. It felt this kind of dangerous. Honestly, it feels dangerous. Here's the deal. They're going to want to lash out at you. And the best thing to do is that emperor puts up the gate and tells his men, if he gets close, just shoot fill him full of arrows, but he doesn't come in. And that kind of energy, because they're going to come nights, communication. They're going to come. So the thing to do it is like your answer when they come after a verse you see is coming at you is not receive this communication. I'm telling you, you don't need to receive this communication. What are you going to talk to narcissists? That's the problem. Is just once you figure out they're narcissists, maybe it's a little cold. 
you know, I mean, you're cancer, you know, I get it, you're sensitive maybe, but seriously, do you want to be like the narcissist nurse right now? <laughs> Fierce says no, this is not a narcissist nurse, this is kick-ass emperor Aries energy, it ain't taking no shit from no knight of swords especially, all this is is words, you know, um, and the way those words can't hurt you, you just don't even hear them. You know, there's, I'm all about getting uh, closure and understanding our relationships, but you, you don't do it with a narcissist. There's no advantage to it, to you. There's a huge advantage to them. That's all they want of you. Just give me, just come, 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 look, at, and you're, don't, don't. You can't win. You won't win. What do you win? How do you, what are you going to win with a narcissist? You're going to get engaged with a narcissist and you're going to win what, ultimately? I don't know. Uh, nothing. There's just absolutely nothing. Eight of Wands. This is the overall energy for the relationship as a whole. And spirit here, I'd like to see this as advice. Guys, I like this reading. This is going towards your person. And the Eight of Wands is a lot of energy. It's very positive, very powerful. Now, it could very well be go down like this as an example. Nothing but good comes to me. Nothing but good goes from me. And you visualize yourself sending that energy and white light out. And you're kind of knowing that you're protecting yourself from this person. But it's in some way projecting power. And I'm not at all. I do not follow the left-hand path at all. You know, but you can darn well project, protect yourself. And it's kind of saying to me that you need to take protective actions, wands or actions. I swear to you, if... if if it resonates, like if, if, if you're in any kind of position where you're like, hmm, should I get a restraining order? Is that going a little too far? Get the restraining order. Like anything like that. You know, should I change the lock on my door right now? Or should I change the lock on your door? Yes, change the lock on your door. You know, uh, change my passwords on all of my everything. Oh my God, my bank. Yesterday, yes, you should have done that yesterday. That's what this reading is, Cancer. Sorry, guys. Page of Wands. I'm looking back at you. I'll tell you what. I feel like this whole fucking thing takes you down, Cancer. And that's like if you get out of it now, right? But remember, you came in as a Nine of Cups. So, um, and you're being asked to channel your inner uh, emperor here. But when all said and done, there's nothing wrong with the page of wands. You know, you still got life in you. You're pointing back at yourself. I think when all of this said and done, you're going to see, you know, that's corny as hell. Please forgive me. You're going to love yourself. You're going to have that feeling. And it's going to express itself by actions, you know. <sighs> I don't know, exercising, eating right, going to the dentist, uh, you know, uh, really caring about yourself and taking actions. And I think it's going to be kind of like feeling alive, you know. Uh, I don't think it's that far away. I mean, you've got this advice from spirits, eight of wands, and then over that you've got the page of wands. You'd be riding this energy. It's like by putting this person down... It's the only way you're going to end this, first of all. Please end it, see? That's the main thing. And then it's going to require a lot of energy. But you can ride that energy right out of it and go back into your life. And um, uh, maybe I think this is kind of like focusing anew on yourself, you know. And it's corny. So I feel like uh, Dr. Phil or something. But it's honestly the way it is. And, you know, this page of wands, i got to go there. Sorry, Dr. Phil. But, you know, the page of wands is looking at the five of pentacles. And, you know, this is the outcome. So it's finally realizing that you are good enough and just going on and living your life. And I think after that, you know, this is like you've got a, like a, you've got a narcissist experience here you could do a movie script about. Leave a comment. So thank you guys and uh, be safe. And um, give me a like anyway if it wasn't a wasn't a cheery reading, but you know, and please do subscribe.